Hi, I'm Jay Johnson, founder of windowpurchase.com, which is an interactive website to teach people more about Windows. Also, my uh, latest book that came out, which was the last one, What Window Companies Don't Want You to Know, this is getting a complete makeover this year into uh, a very specific questionnaire. And the pages are literally going to be cut uh, about in half. This is about a 166-page book. The new one's going to be about 75 to 80 pages listed with very, very specific questions that you should be asking about any type of window that walks into your home for somebody to do a sales pitch. And what the subtitle is going to be of the book is new interactive paperback and website edition. So when you follow those questions in the book, it allows you to go to the videos and watch the videos to see how they correspond with the questions. And that's why it's designed to be interactive. Anyway, here's your subject of the day. Glass replacement versus full window replacement. There's pros and cons to each. Obviously, if you just do glass replacement, you're probably going to spend less money unless you have some exotic designer glass or maybe laminated glass. But when you replace just glass, here's the problem. First of all, um, there is no ratings for energy efficiency on that window, what it becomes when you just switch the glass out. You also don't really know if you've made a big difference or a small difference for whatever the price you pay. The other thing, if somebody just puts new glass in, a lot of times what leads to glass problems, whether it's cracking, breakage, or seal failure, has to do with substandard spacing systems, in which case you could buy glass with the same spacer in it, which is going to lead to the same problems, or a lot of times a substandard foundation around the window, meaning the frame. If you have frames that are very prone to expansion, contraction, bending, bowing, flexing, and this kind of goes back to DP ratings that I talk about in some of my videos, that is the foundation for all that glass weight. So you can have the glass replaced, but some of the reasons when you have issues with glass, it stems from the framing system, not so much from the glass system itself. So also when you replace glass, it's not going to give you any other type of warranty on the window. If I spent $400 to replace glass today, and next week the hardware went out, and the week after that the screen went out, and six months later I had a problem with the frame or something was falling off. That's all extra costs that you're going to have to pay for repairing along the road, which can kind of nickel and dime you on the window. One thing I do like to mention, if you're just having glass replaced, typically if you have two, three, four windows or a set of windows going across one opening, maybe with a transom on top or something like that, you can just switch the glass out without really messing with the other windows. But in most cases, I'm always going to recommend that if you or think you're just going to replace the whole window over here on the end, if it's directly tied into those other windows going across the opening or a transom sitting right on top, you're going to wind up wanting to do all of those windows. I know it costs more, but the frames are going to line up it's going to look aesthetically correct, and you're going to get a lot more energy efficiency out of it. And of course, everything in that opening now should be under warranty if the window company has a pretty good warranty. And if you want my take on warranties, watch video number two. That's the best way to start your process, is get warranties first, then only have the companies out that had warranties that you can live with. Anyway, my name is Jay Johnson, windowpurchase.com. Check it out, and if you like my videos, please subscribe. Thank you so much.